Microsoft Word 210 building blocks, formerly known as Autotext. Creating and inserting building blocks. If I just simply type in my name, if I highlight my name there and press uh, Alt F3, this will bring up the Create New Building Block dialog box. Now, the idea of this uh, concept is if I type in uh, DM, just short for uh, my initials, and click on OK, basically the words David Murray will be stored as a building block called DM. So later when I type in DM, immediately followed by the F3 key, DM will transfer immediately to David Murray. Let's give it a try. So let's go down here. Let's type in um, DM, F3 and it changes automatically to David Murray. As I said, this feature used to be called Autotext, which was always a strange name because it doesn't just simply work for text, it works for pictures. If I click on this logo here, and again press uh, Alt F3, again it brings up the Create New Building Blocks dialog box. So I'll type in LG, short for logo, and click on OK. If I go down the document here a bit, and we type in LG and then press F3. As you can see, that's been uh, replaced by the logo. If I press um, Control N to create a new document and type in LG again, immediately followed by F3. As you can see, this feature is stored in the template. So basically it's available for all new documents that are created based on that template. So as I say, initially I created this um, building block called DM, short for David Murray. If I highlight that and press F3, and uh, if I just simply type in DM, in fact, now let's go back again. If I change this, let's, um, let's change the, uh, the name here to DSM. If I highlight that, press Alt F3. So now I've got a different building block called, um, which will basically um, turn into David S. Murray. If I give that same name as the original one, which was DM, and save it, he'll say, are you sure you want to uh, redefine this? I'll say, yep. So now when I type in DM, immediately followed by F3, I get David S. Murray. So as you can see, they're very easy to change. Now, if I want to delete um, any of these building blocks, it couldn't be easier. If I go to um, Insert, Quick Parts, and then go to the Building Blocks Organizer. This will give you a list of all the um, building blocks that are either there by default or ones that I've inserted. So I created the DM1, which was short for my name. Remember, it was originally David Murray. I changed it to David S. Murray. I've selected that. If I don't want it anymore, I just click on Delete. Are you absolutely sure? Yep. There was the other one, which was the logo. So if I select it, I get a preview here. Do you want to delete that? Yep, that's gone. And if we have a look here, you'll see there's a whole load of built-in uh, building blocks. Now these can be incredibly useful. So for instance, if I click on say uh, this one here, or this one here, what I've got here are a whole series of items which are built in and basically most people don't know about these. So let's say you wanted that as a sort of cover sheet I could um, select this, click on insert, and there goes a really quite nice cover sheet. If I press Control F2, you can see what that looks like. So with absolute minimum effort, I created this brilliant cover sheet, which of course can be edited. So if I press Escape to come out of that, I can type in a, a year there and uh, change that if I want to. Um, basically, I can change this if I want to. I can pick the date. So from here I can pick today's date, so I'll say it's the um, 30th. So as you can see, it's um, very, very powerful. Let's try that once more. So how did I do that? I went to Insert, Quick Parts, Building Blocks Organizer, and from there there's all sorts of interesting stuff in here. So if I click there, or here, or there, you find one that looks nice. Click on Insert, and uh, again, if I look at that in Print Preview, which is Control F2, 
as you can see, that was extremely easy to insert and create. So that's building blocks, powerful and easy to use.